I think the root of the confusion between some of these terms like data dictionary versus business glossary or data glossary, data catalog, really comes from the fact that they, they shouldn't be separate. Um, if I were to define them separately, a data dictionary would just be the list of the tables and the table names that you have in your database here. So it's purely a list of objects, you know, picture just filtering through an Excel sheet uh, to, to look at different types of names. A business glossary is much closer to, you know, the metrics that the business would understand. And so this is where you go beyond the calculation that may exist in a database, and you're actually describing it in business terms. So again, I come back to it's all those acronyms that your company has for, you know, whether it's ARR, NRR, um, customer acquisition costs, CAC, right? All of these acronyms that you kind of sit back and wonder, how do we actually calculate that? That should be where a business glossary exists, whereas the tables and all of the artifacts to calculate it probably will be listed in a data dictionary. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd love to learn more about Atlin or you just want to see a product demo or talk to someone on our sales team, make sure you follow the links in the description below. If you love the video, smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out clips like this all the time. There's probably already clips on the screen that I know you want to watch. Thanks everyone.